talking to you about where to stay in Penang, Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So Penang is an island in Malaysia that is known for its delicious food and we've spent about over two trips, probably about six weeks yep. in total and we absolutely love it. So if you're headed to Penang, we're going to break down the different areas for you so you can kind of decide where the best place is for you. easy I guess in terms of our picks and the, the main two areas I'd probably say you'd be considering would be Georgetown um, or Batu Ferengi so basically one of those areas is sort of the heart of Penang and where most of the cultural yeah, and activity and everything and, will be yeah and then the and Batu Ferengi is more of the, the beach destination and where you would stay if you wanted to be by the water and with a resort and that sort of a feel yeah so two quite different feels so depending on what you want out of your trip one or the other or a combination of both even if you've got enough time our number one pick will say straight off the bat to stay in Penang is Georgetown the reason we say this is because it's full of the culture it is full of delicious food. The buildings are all sort of heritage buildings and it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Um, so this is really where the heart of Penang is. Particularly for a first time visit, staying in Georgetown is probably the best option for most people for what you want out of Penang. So in terms of the beaches at Batu Ferengi and that, that whole area there, some of the beaches can be quite nice to look at. Um, however, the swimming conditions vary in terms of how swimmable they are, are is it polluted, is there uh, things that will sting you or whatnot. Um, so in that regard, it's probably not our top, it wouldn't be a top destination of us if we're going to be going just for a beach holiday, yeah. which would be why we definitely pick Georgetown as our top pick to stay when we're in Penang. Yeah, but Batu Ferengi, we've stayed in both Georgetown and Batu Ferengi and Batu Ferengi definitely has its perks as well. Definitely. Staying in a beautiful resort by the water, no matter what the beach conditions are kind of like, there's something very relaxing about that. Um, particularly if you have a family, you might want a more chilled out, relaxed sort of stay. You might just want to be walking on the beach and well, you're, swimming in the hotel pool. You're, and you're close to a few nature walks or options for things to do as well out, yeah. out that part yeah. of the island. So there's definitely a lot of perks to staying down that end. They also have a night market and food market there as well. So you can definitely get a bit of the culture and a bit of the food there too. And of course you do have the option to grab an Uber or get on the bus and come into Georgetown, which I'd highly recommend if you do stay in Batu Ferengi. So there is kind of another area as well that is between Batu Ferengi and Georgetown, which is kind of the Gurney, Tanjung, Tokong area. And basically this is kind of a bit of an expat area. There's a big shopping centre, lots of apartments, but because of this there's also a lot of really good options for Airbnb. Yeah. So if you do want to come to Penang for a longer stay, um, or if you want to be in an apartment and cooking or just have an apartment feel, then I'd probably say this is a great area. Yeah, just because um, it has a lot more Airbnb options and a lot more value there. Yeah, it's still very reachable as well if you go, are going to be heading in every day to Georgetown or, or whatever yeah. you plan on doing. Either that be by uh, using their, their link bike system yeah. there or by Uber. Um, would probably be the top two picks I'd yeah. say to, to get in and out. And, and we have done the link bike um, yeah, really between easy to Georgetown use. And, and Gurney and it was a nice ride actually and it, was, yeah. it didn't take that long so yeah. it's very doable. So basically to wrap up, if you're there for the culture and the food and the heritage then definitely stay in Georgetown. If you're there to relax and just sort of have more of a chilled stay then Batu Ferengi is a great option but Georgetown is still a good option for that just make sure you pick a hotel where you can relax in and that sort of thing yeah. as a little escape. And there's actually some really really cute I guess historic yeah. historic type hotels. Like little boutique hotels. Yeah throughout Georgetown so there's some really nice options and some unique options to stay in when you're there. And if you're there for a bit of a longer stay or if you definitely want an apartment Airbnb type feel then you can definitely take a look at the Gurney, Tanjung, Tokong area yeah. um, and you might find something you love there. Yeah but just bear in mind though that you will probably be wanting to venture from that area yeah. when you do head out of the apartment. 
<laughs> um, so that's our top picks for where to stay in Penang. So if you're after more details of where to stay in Penang and you want to know the exact hotels that we recommend, then take a look at our article in the description box below. Also below will be all our other articles that we've done on Penang and maybe in Malaysia as well. Put them in there. <laughs> to help you plan your trip. Um, so if you guys have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video and want to see more, then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks guys. <laughs>